I ain't gonna how they remember big. Yeah. A real ass nigga fool. Yeah. A genuine real nigga fool. Like like my I tell how you tell me I say this all the time, bro. Like, I ain't gonna say you lucky to have a friend like me, but I'm more so a blessing to have a friend like me, fool. It's, I'm a blessing, bro. Like, they don't make niggas like me no more, bro. They don't, fool. Like, you hear niggas say that shit all the time, but like, I'm living proof of that right now, though. I'm, I'm in the flesh right now, I'll tell you what. There's no other nigga like me, fool. Mm -hmm. Do the shit I can do, the shit I do for niggas, do the shit I do my family, bro. Like, whatever, whatever case. I'm not saying it's not other niggas who got them same type of characteristics and do that same type of shit, but another nigga like Flock. Shit. <laughs> Unless motherfucker ain't come up with a cloaking device, cloning device, whatever the fuck that shit called. <laughs> Even when they make that nigga, that nigga still ain't gonna be me for one tell you. I know that shit might sound cliche and it might be sound like anything that anybody would say. But that's really what I want to be remembered as a real nigga. I did everything the right way, you know what I'm saying? Anything that you could think of, I did it the right way. I went through a rock of mistakes along the way, you know what I'm saying? It probably went the right way when I first started. But as far as me right now, I do, I'm doing everything the right way, you know what I'm saying? I'm carrying myself like a man of hundred and thirty-five percent if that was existing. But that's not even a word. But if it was though, you know what I'm saying, that's what I would be. You know what I'm saying? And on the fuck going on, man, big flock one eight seven. You tune in with the voice of the youth, man. Taco talk TV, man. Okay. I'm behind this woods with the Shit lit, you know what I'm All the shit that motherfucking niggas was doing, I guess, in the uh, like that James, we was doing that shit down here. We had a big ass hill oh, yeah, over there on the other side of the yeah, man and I shit. No, we'd take no, all the motherfucking uh, little flappies off the uh, off the steps and make snowboards and shit. And we'll be going down this ain't snowboarding down the hill and shit every time it's snow. Oh, how you? Oh, oh, oh! You say you taking something a big piece? You know the little things on the steps. It'd be like a little leather piece on like you going to palm. It's a leather thing. Everybody we used to dig them up. Dig them from up from under the bottom and rip them all. Everybody don't so know about it. Everybody had that shit, bro. Yeah. Everybody had that shit, bro. Everybody had the little rubbery steps. Yeah, man. All, so look, bro. we had some rubbery steps, bro. Like oh, it was like a little, it was like a little cover they put over top of the step, and we'll rip them all. So like you have a piece like this big, but it's the same size as the step, and we'll motherfucker uh, put them on the snow, make it like a little path for us to go straight down. Don't smoke and we realize snowboarding, bro. Like realize snowboarding down there, jungle. God, when that shit get icy, like on the on the first day of snow, your shit, your snowboard gonna be weak as shit. You better take that joint in the house. Third day, it's gonna be icy outside. You gonna be snowboarding like shit all the bro. way to the other side. Bro. I swear <laughs> God, so it was lit, bro. Oh God, that's even funny shit, bro. That's I, I ain't start off with a bike the whole time. So all for it, for all my friends, they had bikes and shit. And I couldn't get a bike yet. I had a motherfucker, a skateboard. So all I better be riding on the motherfucker bikes. It shit hopping like the curves and shit. I move my skateboard on my knee. <laughs> so, well, I'm behind everybody on my skateboard. <laughs> Can I get a shoe tomorrow? <laughs> I got a bike and shit. I got a mongoose and shit. Later on and shit. Oh, and after that, I was lit. Got some pigs on my mongoose. Shit, the first, the first thing I ever went to was uh, when my bike was new. Like, when I first started riding my bike, that was like 2011, 2012, something like that. Like, that was like the first time I ever went to the bike store. Like, I remember going to like the bike store and shit. And I got the bike store for like 10 minutes driving. So on the bike, that shit probably was like 45 minutes, 30 yeah, hell yeah, went to the Splash Park and rode our bikes back home. It was it was nighttime, traffic, highways. Yeah, nah, it was like semi-highways, but they still got like a, a little bit of a sidewalk, so we still on the sidewalk and shit. Uh. shit we still was dragging up, doing wheelies and shit in the street. You gonna lie? You definitely not getting nothing down. Driving outside, so I got on work, bro. Let me tell you. Like 3 o'clock, bro. Let me tell you. I've been outside since like 3 o'clock. That's the shit that my little cuz got. He got George Washington. <laughs> hey, I've been outside since 3 o'clock. I'm going straight up.
What's up, bro? You burnt that shit. Ben gone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got me a bitch. What's ruining at the bathroom? Ooh, like it's gonna sound so cliche, so I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Don't rap. <laughs> yeah. Don't rap though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Out the gate. Out the gate, bro. Look, I remember this shit like it was yesterday, bro. I was probably like four years old, bro. I remember this shit like it was yesterday, bro. And I must whip my ass, bro. Punch me. I forgot what I did, though. Whip my ass. I told him, man, you keep playing. I'm gonna call the police. You with me? I called the police, bro. Without down there. I don't want my aunt read the phone, hung the donut. They called back. They like, yeah, man, uh. Man, it is something like that. Not that was my nephew. Ooh, ooh. Man, ooh, my pa say, hey, whip his ass. So my mother like, nah, fuck, whip his ass. What? Fool just called the police. <laughs> whip his ass right before my mother tore my ass up. Fool. Ever since then, you hear me? I ain't calling the police for nothing. I could be shot 20 times and still live. I'm not calling. Just take me to the ass. I'm not calling no police, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, my mother wanted what's best for me, you know what I'm saying? She tried to do that for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I wanted this time, my mother would get it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say I was pissed before about that shit, you know what I'm saying? If I said that I'd be about it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't start not getting shit until I really was just blatantly disrespecting this, you know, disrespecting the situation, saying fuck school, you know what I'm saying? Keep getting suspended, that's when shit start going bad for me. Shit like that. As far as my mother concerned, her get me shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, because my, my best friend, so it won't make a difference. You know Regardless of what the fuck I came today, it's because what I came as I grew up as a man. You know what I'm saying? I chose what like, I'm gonna do, but as far as my mother bringing me up and shit, my mother did everything, and her father would be a good mom, she did that, you know? So my father like the most money. My father ain't come home till I like 17, 18, something like that. My father was a good father too, though. He was behind the wall, you know what I'm saying? Made sure that it's still good law, it's still good morals and principles and shit like that. And when he got home, you know what I'm saying, we had a good bond. Do you be thinking about generational curses or you don't believe in that? Uh, yeah, to an extent. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a um, <clears throat> My family, like in the generation, it's like they go through mental illness, child. Like, that shit running my family. It, it really comes down to rip and jail, too, though. You know what I'm saying? All my fathers, all my mothers, all my uncles, all my aunts, 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 all my uncles, 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 all my Shit, fool, like, nigga don't even know that's not in my blood, bro. We yeah. just so, like, it feel like we came on the same box, fool. Yeah, so, like, like, my first, first initial meeting with him and shit, I had just got kicked out of whatever school I was going to. I was in middle school. I had just got kicked out of school, and I'm going to a whole new school. And I'm staying with my heart, the same way I'm talking about. I'm staying with my heart and shit. And I got to walk to the bus stop. That's the first time I met him, we had this big ass curly bush with a big ass jump with a, 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 a white Timberland shirt. But the Timberland shirt had a boot on it and the strings came off the shirt. Jump was wild as shit, fool. <laughs> with some big ass cargo shorts, some drop socks, and some butters, fool. My mother, first day I met him, fool. I'm looking at it like, well, oh, this nigga fit alias and shit. I don't know, but back day, ever since then, fool, I think probably one bitch probably told me, like, Boy, y'all look alike. <laughs> ever since we were brothers, ever since we were everything. Shit, before I started rapping, uh, it was like, uh, shit, it was like, shit, like a regular, a regular best friendship. Like, you think of an ideal best friend type shit, like, that's us type shit. Like, you can't see one without the other, you see one without the other, that shit just don't even look right. Like, like, like coming out of the house and you only got one shoe on, you know what I'm saying? Just don't look right type shit, like. I can't, I can't really think of nothing that we ain't do together, you know what I'm saying? Did everything, every single thing that you would think of, you know what I'm saying? So. Is he dead? Yeah, he for sure. Did that motivate you? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have been rapping for him. Yeah. I wouldn't be rapping for him. He called me one day, I sent him a song. I did like a bullshit ass song. She did that to him and she was a freestyle. I can't remember what the freestyle was. My five two, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, Oak Space Perk. That joint's called Sit on My Mates. And I freestyled on that joint. You still got it somewhere or was lost? I don't know. 
with it for me. That's somebody gonna sign up now, so that's why I put it on. But did that thing, sent that thing to him, he was in college and shit. He had to plan that shit for all the people and shit, and everybody eating that thing from him and shit. He kept calling me fresh, man. You a rapper now, I'm gonna make you a rapper. Favorite memory, shit, when I was on the run with him. Yeah, I was on the run. I don't have them, but like that's probably like the funnest times of my life. Even though that shit probably sound crazy though, like it was one of the hardest, but at the same time it was more fun is because it's like I um I did shit I ain't never do like experience. He experience. He showed me experience. Like um the college life, you feel me? College life was like that. Like I really felt like I was going to school type shit. Like that shit was like that for real, bro. Like college parties and shit, Q cabs, all that shit. That shit was like that. <laughs> on earth, earth, that shit was tight as shit. You heard me, like. But, you know what I'm saying, that whole, that whole little time right there was like, right there was like a whole different type of bond. Like that bond was, it, with the bond that we already had, it, it, it leveled up about 10 times. I moved, but I can't. Ain't got to step on my toes, bro. Like, that'd be a problem with a rock of motherfuckers and how they never last. Cause they always undercutting someone in order to get on. I mean, sometimes, man, sometimes for some situations it be like that. You gotta step on a couple motherfuckers in order to get to the top. But 